Hello everybody, are you also interested in how to use international standards to be able to share your data, and more specific the OGC standards, me too, especially concerning the European program Horizon 2020, so let's call my friend Mick, who knows a lot about this program. Hey Mick, how are you? I want to ask you about the Horizon 2020 program, can you tell me what the main goal is? Hey girl, I'm great, thanks. The goal is to ensure Europe produces world-class science, removes barriers to innovation and makes it easier for the public and private sectors to work together in delivering innovation. Horizon 2020 is open to everyone, with a simple structure that reduces red tape and time so participants can focus on what is really important. This approach makes sure new projects get off the ground quickly and achieve results faster. Okay, I understand. So, the approach needed for the Horizon 2020 program needs to make sure that new projects start quickly and achieve results faster. Thanks, Mick. We need a time-efficient and simple approach to use the OGC standards. I think I found a simple solution that will save us a lot of time. Come and have a look with me. Let's take the standard OGC observations and measurements in all its richness and we lay over this model a puzzle which will create the packets. Each puzzle piece is another part of the same OGC observation and measurements standard, and we call these puzzle pieces packets. In a puzzle, the pieces fit into each other. This same concept is used for the packets. You can start by using just one packet, and you can add another whenever you like. And when you need to use all the pieces, the puzzle will be complete, so you implemented the total standard, but this time piece by piece, regarding only the piece or pieces, you needed to be able to share your data according to the OGC standard, so when you completed the puzzle, the total standard, in all its richness, will be implemented. Let's take package A, and we use Bob's data, as a use case, to see how the implementation of the package works. We need to know what Bob has measured. In this case, Bob has measured the temperature, but also where he is to get his coordinates, x and y, and we also need his height, so his z coordinate. When did he measure? This will be an exact date and time with a paired value of the measurement. We call this time series. The most important questions for package A are answered, what, where, and when. In this case the temperature is measured, and each value will be paired with a date and time so the result is a time series. The standard contains three separate properties where information about the feature of interest can be explained. Ref, for your area of the external resource. Rel, for the semantics of the reference. Title, human readable label for the reference, in this case T, of temperature. Where was Bob? What was his location? Let's have a look. Now we have his coordinates, and, if you want to share your height position, you will share the unit of measure, in this case, meter, then you can enter the value, and there is a property to define your height. The question, when, will contain a year, month, and day, because we work with time series, we should point out that each 5 minutes, the time, and measured value, will be uploaded, this gives us the time series, that contains the date and time. How can we use this packets of the OG, CO, and M? We have answered the three questions, where, what, and when, but how will this be implemented according to the standard? Let's look at the implementation according to the three questions. The question where, will be separated into two classes, the class sampling elevation, and sampling location. The question what, will be in the class observed property, and the question when, will be in the class result. From here you need to understand that there are the base types for the implementation that contain properties and C-sharp types. Some of the classes will consist out of smaller classes, but let's look at the animation that will make it clear. In this overview you see how to name the different elements of your data, how to implement it, and it shows you the structure that OGC describes in their standard that we used for this case. The result will look like this. The question where contains as you can see the coordinates and the height value. The question what gives the title T from temperature and the question when gives the result so the time series, and as you can see each time contains a value. So when we implement this all, 
You get this. As a result, the OGC structure, names, and method is visible. And to make this overview more clear, I show you the three questions of packet A. Now we have packet A implemented with a use case of Bob's data. Let's thank Bob for his cooperation. This is an explainer video for the packets plan and a case study on how to communicate the packets in a simple and understandable way. I hope to show you more in the future until all packets are done with the OGC observation and measurement so it will be complete. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.